Fed Chair Janet Yellen said the case has strengthened for hiking interest rates. Could you explain that case a little bit more? What makes the case stronger, assuming you agree? Well, we've, we've had uh, very s uh, strong uh, hiring reports in the last uh, three months. On average, as uh, the chair said, 190,000 hires a month. We have another one of those reports coming out next Friday. And that will probably uh, weigh in our decision, along with other data that may come in. So uh, I think the evidence is that the economy has strengthened. The problem with this economy is there are so many numbers every day that you can... <laughs> so fewer numbers to, would solve our problem? <laughs> probably. You have, to, uh, you have to try and figure out what, what is the main thrust of what's going on in the economy. You can always find a set of data that will enable you to build a different case and that's the hard part. Well, not a small set of data would be the GDP data and it's been fairly lackluster. An economy that was already lackluster at 2 percent can't even manage, seems like, half of that at 1 percent. Is, is that the kind of environment in which you want to be raising interest rates? Well, that, that's looking back and the, those numbers get revised very frequently. Uh, so we want to be looking ahead when we make this decision, uh, not back. We're at reasonably close to what is thought of as full employment and uh, inflation rate this year is higher than last year's. It's still not up to 2%, but uh, it's, it's been growing. So you ask what are the big numbers we look at. The big numbers are, are better than they have been for some time and uh, then we're getting some feedback, uh, some, uh, some reinforcements from what's been happening on a monthly basis. Two questions that I know you'll love to answer. Should we be on the edge of our seat for a rate hike as soon as next month? And should we be on the edge of our seats for more than one rate hike this year? Well, um, it depends uh, what stomach, stomach you've got for excitement, so I don't really know. Uh, I think uh, what, the, uh, what the chair said, to, said today was consistent with uh, answering uh, yes to both of your, uh, of your questions, but these are not things we know until we see the data. People get upset about us uh, saying we're data-driven, and I see criticisms of data-driven. I don't know what the alternative is. Toss a coin or Crystal what? ball-driven, I guess, is one, is one yeah, possibility. So uh, it depends on what's going to happen, what data we're going to get, and uh, how strong it is. Uh, because the picture is a very complex one. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.